Hey guys, what's going on? Tyraku here, and I hope you're all doing great. So today, uh, I, I wanted to make this video first off because last night when I was doing the Platinum Arena push, which luckily I did get my avatar, uh, which is which which is pretty exciting. Placed 97th last night it was very interesting though because I fought basically in gold four the whole time. It was the easiest push I'd ever done. I started pushing like 10 to 15 minutes out. If you guys want to see that video, I can post it. But used to I would sit in plat and then push, but this time I took a different approach. I had my best placing, got an avatar. It was interesting. But either way, when I was doing the platinum matches last night, I had some people ask me what were the keyboard shortcuts that I was using to do the abilities on my champion. So if you turn off an auto, then you see your abilities, your skills, you know. I don't very often turn off an auto. I'm not going to lie. I do auto a lot, especially with the new AI changes. And it's basically how I want to play anyways. But sometimes you got to venture out of your comfort zone, you know, and turn it off of auto. So... Whenever you can click to do skills, as you can see, it's highlighting. I'm not using my mouse or anything. Obviously, I guess raising one hand doesn't really show you much that I'm not using my mouse. But put the mouse up here, and you can click through the different abilities. So what I'm doing here is Q is for your ability 1, W is for your ability 2, E is for your ability 3, and then like things like R is for replay, and then T is for auto. I'm going to show you guys the whole list of keyboard shortcuts that you can use inside of raid and i also want to give you guys some other tips that you may have never heard of before um, tips and tricks inside the game that hopefully help you guys out so i'm gonna go ahead and do this the keyboard shortcuts there's a few benefits of these obviously makes it a little bit easier the downside is if you're on mobile <laughs> newsflash you can't use it unfortunately but if you're on pc and you have a keyboard maybe if you connect it to your mobile i don't know about that one but uh this allows you to sometimes on PC, I've noticed and I've seen people do it on their streams. They'll be in matches and they'll click the skill. And it happens to me all the time. I'll click, say, the A2 ability, but for some reason it doesn't register. Well, I don't notice it doesn't register. It typically happens on champions like Solus, for example. I'll click the A3 or something and then I'll click the enemy. And then he'll use his A1 instead because I guess somewhere in that mix up, I accidentally didn't misclick, missed the click completely or something goes wrong, I don't know. But then instead of using his AOE ability, he uses his A1 or even maybe even the A2, which is definitely not ideal. So definitely, if you're, using, if you're on PC, definitely use the keyboard shortcuts. Here's a list of all the keyboard shortcuts in Raid. So we have P for pause and exit fight, T for profile calling on base or auto battle. So T is for auto battles in like the arena, dungeons, whatever it may be. But for here, you call your profile. And then if you're here, we are for replay, obviously. C is for champions. E is for events. Let's see. I don't use these ones, but these are just other options. So escape typically backs you out. C is for your champions. Pretty quick and easy there. Uh, we have alt plus enter, full screen in and out. I probably never use most of these, to be honest. Speed and battles. I don't know why you'd ever want to use anything other than two times speed, unless you had like four times speed. I don't know how you could get that. Getting four times speed. That'd be incredible. Yo, what's up with my webcam? Why am I floating? Let's lower that a little bit. What the heck? I've been doing some changes with my webcam. And I don't like that floating black bar. That black bar at the bottom was probably getting to some of you guys OCD if you have it. Uh, sorry about that. So in is daily rewards calling on base. A lot of these I haven't tried out, but here you guys go. If you want to take a screenshot, I'll leave a link to this as well. It's on the Playroom forums. You can see all of them. Really, the only ones I use is the QWE. I use R for replay and then T for the starting it on auto battles and things like that. It does help you go in and out of arena matches, go into auto, out of auto, pick your skills. And I really use it in the arena a lot. I like it. I think it's a good little addition. Now, the next tips I'm going to give and little, I guess, tricks and things, a lot of you probably know, but you, it's going to be, it's actually kind of surprising how many people don't know about these tricks. My favorite one, this was put in the game a long time ago, and I'm kind of surprised how many people don't know about this. That is the clan boss exiting the battle and saving your keys. So mostly newer players, if you... Let me scroll down through all these mini mix packs. Sorry, guys. I'm not. Gosh, dang it. Uh, let me get a clan boss key. I don't want to spend the hundred gems. Uh, the mini mix packs have been a pretty good deal, though. The last few days I have not bought them. They put out a ton, basically. All right, going to clan boss. Uh, two hours on the key. So we'll go ahead and use it here. This is a, it doesn't really matter where. Okay, so we have one key right now. We'll go ahead and use this key. Now, used to back in the back in my day of raid, what you'd have to do is spend 100 gems you have to buy another key because your clan boss run messes up and you're kind of screwed well now if you want to drop this clan boss run and not have to worry about losing that key all you have to do is just exit the program okay now when you do this you can't press this little 
pause button and leave battle like that, don't do that because that's gonna just basically make you still use your key. So if you're on PC, you want to actually close, force quit the app. So like click the icon out at the bottom, click the X if you have it in, I guess, minimized screen, so it's not full screen, it's just you can see the border still windowed full screen. Click the X there, click the thing on the bottom. For iOS, I know I'll like swipe up my phone and then clear the app off the screen. So it force quits it. I think you can turn it to like things like airplane mode as well. Just exit, get the clan boss match to leave without actually doing this and you save your key. If you do this, you waste your key still. So keep that in mind. If your clan boss run ever messes up, you can do that pretty easily and it is not a problem whatsoever. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit this match and then reopen raid to get back into the game because I don't wanna waste that clan boss key. I wanna save it for later on. So we'll do this, we'll come back in. I click the icon down my, my toolbar at the very bottom. I pressed close window and let's go back in here and see the clan boss key wouldn't have been wasted. So the previous battle was not finished, just errored out essentially because we force quit it. And you'll see, I still have the one clan boss key. So this is definitely very helpful. If you want to jump in and test something, if you have a bad setup, anything like that, this was probably one of the best fixes that Plarium made a while back. But I think a lot of players just don't know about this, unfortunately, yet. Um, whether it's just they're brand new or whatever it may be, this is something you should definitely, definitely do. Obviously, if you mess up your clan boss run, I use it all the time. So it's definitely a big help for me. Saves a lot of resources. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is... I want to talk about 3v3 gold bar farming, but I want to talk, talk about something more important before that. So a lot of you may already know about the 3v3 gold bar farming, so I'll save that to the very end. So he, listen out on this one, okay? Now this strategy is actually something I just came across on Reddit, and I didn't know about this. I think it's actually a pretty awesome idea. So with clan versus clan coming up, it's actually starting tomorrow. This may be a little bit of a late start for you to actually be able to do this, but if you go to the shop, and you purchase the, you can purchase the, where is it at? Okay, I obviously don't use it very much. You can purchase this Tag Arena refill in here when you have 10 out of 10. Okay, so watch this. I've already bought one earlier. I bought it at like 6 o'clock, and now it's um, 9 o'clock, basically. So the day is already reset, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, so it's already reset. So it costs 15 gems again. But I click here. Now, if you went to the Tag Arena, you may be able to click up here and be able to, well, you can't see the refill option there. So I'll hit this, hit this, go to my mailbox, and then boom, I have a 24 hour Tag Team Arena refill bag, okay? Now, why would this be beneficial? Well, a lot of you know that in Clan versus Clan, 3v3 is one of the best ways to earn points. Well, what you could do is say the Monday before, like a few hours before reset, the daily reset, where the 3v3 goes back to the 15 gems for a refill, go ahead and buy one, maybe even two of these Tag Arena refills. So then when the actual Clan versus Clan starts, you do, you get a cheaper version of the Arena tokens, essentially, you know? So instead of having to buy four at the scaling price, you would have bought one for 15, one for 40, one for 15, one for 40. So you'd have two total for 15, two total for 40 versus buying four for whatever it is. It goes like 15, 40, 50. I don't know how it scales up, but this is a decent way to kind of save a few gems. And I mean, even if you're just buying two of the 15 gem ones, it's perfect. Even just one the day before, get an extra 10 tag matches. It's perfect, okay? Also, if you're working on these missions down here that are kill, the, uh, kill 500 champions in Tag Team Arena offense, or defeat 500 champions in Tag Team Arena offense, you definitely need to get as many tokens as you can. And using them during CVC is the perfect time because everybody basically sets their defenses to be a one-person defense, at least in these higher levels of the Tag Team Arena. Maybe not so much in the lower ranks. I've heard people say that in the lower ranks that everybody's try hard, basically. That no matter what, they can't find these one-person defenses and that everybody has full platinum level defenses and it's so annoying. Well, at the higher levels, I know Silver 4 does it, I think. Oh, I know all of Gold does it. I'm not for sure how far down in Silver this goes. I want to say all of Silver and all of Gold do set these one-person defenses. If I refresh, I'm in the red. Then I got one-person defenses. Now we have four-person defenses, but they're still weak. They're not actually, like, built teams. They're being nice. They're setting these defenses so that I can actually complete. Are they trying to help other people complete these missions right here? So if you can, set your defenses to four-person preferably like common champion, something easy. Please don't set them to Tormans. Don't put Tormans. Don't put Hegemons. Don't be that person, okay? If you're putting a Torment or Hegemon in your defense and you're trying to be in the red as well, 
Don't do that. It's obnoxious. Nobody likes it. It just takes forever for no reason, all right? If you're trying to push, by all means, do whatever you want. Keep it like that. But if you're dropping in the red and you want people to farm you, don't do that. Nobody's going to farm like this. This is a little bit of... I, I know what people do here. They just leave this here because their or original team probably had these people the leader anyways. So they just leave, leave it. But champions like Tormund are definitely pretty annoying to have to deal with if you're trying to go through quick matches, which is actually more of a hindrance to this person because I'm not going to attack this team. So if they're wanting to stay in the red, I'm just going to skip this and I'll just do all the other easier matches. So something to consider when you're setting a one-person defense. The next thing, which that was kind of the fourth tip there, but let me throw in something extra. When you're doing this, this is going to be the biggest tip to help you move up in ranks because my previous video I did talking about farming gold bars in 3v3, said to get into the red and then come friday thursday turn on your full defense teams and then start climbing up but if you're having a hard time doing that a lot of players said oh if i'm that low there's no way i'm gonna go get back up into the higher ranks and be able to go green before the reset this i think is the best strategy okay so clan versus clan i think is what tuesday and wednesday whatever it is do your 3v3 matches then do them all whenever you're planning on finishing try to push as high as you can because at least in these higher rankings like gold, and this is what I plan to do from now on, these higher rankings, people have one-person defenses pretty much all up until the green. So all you have to do, which obviously not everybody can do this, so if you're one of the first people to do this, you're going to be better off. But as you climb up, and then once you get into the green, set your defenses to full-person defenses, okay? Like a actual defense team. That might be on Wednesday. You may, may not be able to farm as easily the next few days, not as quickly, but you'll have secured that spot of moving up to the next rank. That's what I plan on doing for these next few weeks is to basically turn on my full teams either Wednesday night or Thursday morning after blowing a lot of tokens in the 3v3 and pushing from the red up into the green. Because like I said, during CVC is a time where the most players set their one-person defenses just so they can farm this pretty easy. So something to consider, something to keep in mind. Those are four tips. So basically the keyboard shortcuts, which, which I think are a pretty nice little quality of life feature, clan boss keys ending, which a lot of people know, but you'll be surprised by how many people haven't heard about that yet. 3v3 gold bar farming, as well as making purchases through the shop, which this is actually another thing. Talk about the purchase through the shop. I didn't really touch on this, but I believe everything here goes to your mailbox, okay? I would purchase this, but I have more than enough experience boosts right now so i did purchase one of these earlier and this does go to my inbox now this may not seem like a big deal but it actually is very nice because if you are doing your multi battles if it's 30 multi battles or 100 multi battles and you have it set to automatically refill your energy your energy refills consistently when you're low okay well if you have 130 energy you can do one of two things okay you can start your multi battles now you run through your matches or you could just load this up with a ton of energy not set it to automatically refill you can do this with the in-game multi battles or you could do it with like an auto clicker the best way to do this is to not preload all of your energy because if each match is taking two to three minutes you're going to be regenerating energy throughout that time and who knows by the time you get through all of your runs you could have had an extra run possibly of energy that you didn't have to pay for but if you preload all this energy, so say you load up a thousand energy or something before you start your farming, then you're not going to be regenerating energy as you're doing your runs. So definitely, I'm seeing the value more and more of pre-purchasing energy through the shop. Say you plan on running 10 energy refills, purchase it through here versus purchasing it up here. Because if you do it up here, one, it takes from your inbox first. If you do it from there, you can actually pay for it with gems. So just take with it, take from it what you may. It's some little extra ideas on being efficient with your stuff. I definitely like to leave my energy being as efficient as possible. I say that when having 183 over 130 energy. So it's definitely not being efficient yet, but I will run this down. And I do prefer to let my auto clicker or let the multi battles refill the energy for me versus me preloading it and then not regenerating anything throughout those runs. So guys, I hope some of these tips are new to you. Hopefully you find something of value. Let me know if you have anything new and interesting that you think would be beneficial to everybody else definitely share it down in the comment section below if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and don't forget to like this video thank you all for watching and i'll catch you in the next one